Hi, welcome to Life in a Bottle, season two, episode, I'm not 100% sure, I forgot to check, plus this is kind of an in-between episode, so I don't even know if it gets a number or not. Uh, it's been a bit of a while, it's been, been, been some time since I've done one of these videos, so it might be a little rusty, so I apologize for that. I've got my notes. So let me see if I can hit all the things on my notes. First off, as always, thank you very much. Thank you, all of you, all our clients. Whether you're local delivery, curbside pickup, you shop in Branchville, Wilton, Richfield, thank you. Thank you for your kindness, your support, um, your patience. It's been uh, it's been an interesting, interesting 2020 for sure. Um, did you all notice that it's like? November 10th and, and Thanksgiving's like a blink away. It doesn't it just doesn't feel it's 70 degrees today, sun's warm, uh, but yet the leaves are down. It's it's really weird. I guess it's fitting for the year. It's been an, a strange year. Um and I think we are all thinking the same thing. This Thanksgiving's gonna be different than any other Thanksgiving, right? And I have this feeling that all of our experiences, all of our gatherings are gonna be more consolidated. So every year, year we usually create a list of our favorite Turkey Day wines and then we do a, a large discount like 20% off mix 12 type of thing. Um, but I feel this year that things are going to be shrunken down just a little bit as far as gatherings are concerned. So I feel we're going to go from that mixed case to mixed six pack and you're still going to save the 20%. Instead of having you have to buy a case, buy a six, once you hit the six, 20% off. You can still buy a case and get 20% off, but I wanted to create that big savings in a smaller package because it's a different type of Thanksgiving. All right, so we got the thank you done. Good. Uh, we realized that Thanksgiving's right around the corner, and I sort of just announced our big Thanksgiving sale. It's mix six versus mix 12, which is great. I kind of want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that we're dealing with uh, out of stocks. Like, there are things that you would think I'd be able to get plenty of all the time. You would think they're just made in such large amounts that it would never go out of stock. But there are a lot of things that you would think I'd never run out of that I can't get. I'm allocated. I'm going to give you one example. Corona, all summer. Hi, Becca. Corona, all summer, allocated to me. I, I, I didn't place orders. They just shipped me Corona when it was available to ship. So I mentioned this for a couple reasons. One is don't think that I'm just doing a lousy job ordering. A lot of these things just I'm ordering and I can't get. We had a huge run of tequila. Like all summer, it was like pulling teeth and I still don't have some of the major brands like Don Julio. And this could be because consumption up, it's a big brand, they can't keep up with it. It could be supply chain too. You know, like I do know some producers uh, didn't have cardboard to package their product, right? So you could have plenty of wine, plenty of spirits, no cardboard, very difficult to ship. So where am I going with this? I think A, uh, I just want you to be aware. It's not like we're shirking our responsibilities of not ordering things. There are just a ton of things that have been out of stock and they just sort of get shipped to us when they come in. So. Why am I mentioning it? I would say if you have something that your heart's set on and you see it on the shelf and you want it for Thanksgiving or you want it even for the holidays, and I don't want to create, this is not fear-based. This is all like, this is not a hard sell either. It's just reality. If you see it, if you have that favorite thing like an Anazette or an Amaro or you know a particular wine that you just want to have on your table and you see it on your shelves, uh, buy it. Buy it sooner than later. I, I hate disappointing people. I hate telling people that I, I don't have what they're looking for. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes it's just out of our control. So shop early, especially if you have a heart set on certain things. Thank you. Thanksgiving right away. Big uh, mix six, 20% off. Great wines sort of explain explain the, the out of stock issues and sort of the hurdles that we're dealing with and I guess I'll just mention this too you know we're still doing curbside pickup 
we're still doing local delivery and we're obviously doing in-store shopping in Wilton, Richfield, and Branchville. Again, thank you, all of you, no matter how you shop, thank you. And if, if for whatever reason you want to alter, say you want to, oh, by the way, that's Bear's big trick. He likes to jump up on the table. So, um, I, I guess, I guess we can call it from here. Thanks, buddy. Can you get down? Hold on. I'll be back. Bear. Bear. Buddy. Come on. Get down. Get down. Bear. Bear, bear. Bear, bear. Off. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. I can't make this stuff up. No. Don't jump on the table again. No. Lucky you didn't drink my wine. Anyway, where was I? Oh, curbside, delivery, wherever your comfort level is. If you want us to deliver to your house, we're more than happy to. Curbside pickup, more than happy to. You want to come to the store? We love seeing you. We know there are smiles underneath those masks. And I think that the final note is never, never be afraid to give me, this is my personal email at work, give me feedback. How are we doing? What are we maybe not doing as well as, as you'd like us to do? Is there something that you're looking for selection-wise that we don't have? Um, anything. You know, we're always open to feedback. We really want you guys to come and shop with us, no matter how you shop with us. And, and at the end of it, be as happy as you want to be, or as happy as you can be. As happy as we can help you be? I don't know. I'm just happy that that bear's not jumping on the table anymore. So, thank you. Gobble, gobble. We're going to try to keep the shelves stocked. We're doing our best. And uh, no matter how you shop with us, cheers. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, this is going to be the Friday wine. Spoiler alert. Um, and it's friggin' delicious. And it will be on my Thanksgiving table. Cheers.